Hey everybody, this is Justin out in the workshop, and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the old Bell and Howell uh, Cube uh, series slide projectors for uh, your 35mm slides. Um, there's a number of different models. This one happens to be an RC55, but there's a lot of similarities uh, between these. Uh, so, chances are... Uh, you're watching this video because yours is broken or not functioning for some reason. So we're going to take a look at some tips and tricks of what to look for and the most common uh, problem with these, what breaks, and the solution to fix it. And that solution comes in a little tiny plastic bag. So you're just going to need a couple simple tools and perhaps a beverage of your choice. And uh, I'm going to show you how to fix these things. Get them running again. Let's get to it. Okay, as I said, there are a couple sub-models of these, uh, but they all use the same cubes. This one, as I said, happens to be a RC55, but a number of them are very similar. They function pretty similar, and more importantly, have the same critical parts um, that we're going to be so, taking a look at. Here. Uh, we're going to do a little troubleshooting here, try to figure out what's wrong with it first. Um, now, first off, plug it in. The first selection here is for fan. So turn it on, make sure your fan is working. The fan is working. Number two, second selection is your lamp. And the lamp is functioning. Now, if your lamp is not functioning, and you probably want to turn that off when you're not using that, just let the fan run to cool it down. Um, chances are, if that's not coming on, your lamp is just simply burned out. They are light bulbs, they're replaceable. Um, we're going to show you how to do that in the next step here as we go along, so just keep watching. Um, you just need to get a new bulb. Here's a spare. There's plenty of old ones available on the internet. Uh, maybe even your corner store, because surprisingly, I believe they still manufacture these, believe it or not. But nonetheless, there's a ton of them out there, so they're easy to get. Um, you can also find replacement cubes out there. Now this was given to me recently. They didn't know if it worked or not. It does not. It's broken and I'm going to show you why. It came with a three pack which only had two cubes in it because as I'm going along here forward it was jamming. Now you can hear that it wants to work and the lamp works but the carousel is not turning. Now, when I picked it up and shook it, it rattled and I could hear pieces of plastic in there. So, first thing that I think happens is, and you see this little red tab here, you can, it's spring-loaded and you can pull it back and then lift this up to reveal the carousel here. And what I think happens is little bits, and some of these suspiciously look like the little plastic ears off of the top the slide doors when you put these cubes in and you slide them forward uh, sometimes what also happens is if uh, maybe there's a broken piece of plastic on a slide or something it can get jammed in there so this tray will not want to turn now you can see that shutter is still working now if I manually push this you can hear it's trying to push but it can't push now you have a little tab here that indexes there's little slots right here and that's what makes uh, another the thing you can do is to actually uh, go ahead and remove the carousel plate and that's done by uh, removing this snap clip here and then this snap okay clip here. hopefully you can see the snap clip it's got an open side and a closed side with uh, kind of a uh, cutout area in it. Uh, these are called uh, spring clips for a reason. So uh, just kind of put your uh, screwdriver down in there and put your hand here so it doesn't spring away from you and just gently pull it off. It pulls off. Take that, set it aside in a safe spot. Same thing over here. Uh, spring clip, got the uh, open side and then you've got a uh, little area to put the screwdriver in once again put your hand there so you don't lose it and just pull toward yourself and it will gently come off go ahead and set that aside 
and then pull this housing up. Now this arm has a little washer here that it sits on top that helps it rock back and forth. Go ahead and safely put those aside and we're ready to remove the carousel. Okay, once we've removed the clips, we can go ahead and remove the carousel. You just kind of grab it in this area and uh, lift it up. And uh, as you can see, there are gears traveling the length around the outside. And this is what uh, is how the uh, carousel is pushed around. You can go ahead and set that aside. Look in here, look around for garbage, you know, broken pieces of plastic, any refuse. Um, if you have uh, a gentle uh, microfiber uh, cloth, you can obviously clean off your lens here. Um, and then more importantly, your key thing to look at is right here in the back corner and those are the teeth to your main gear. If these are broken, make sure there's no garbage in there. And uh, if these teeth are broken, then you know where your problem arises from. Uh, you know that that's a broken gear. Now, I know what happened with this and what may have happened with yours is this gear which is located right here this gear breaks right up top here and i know that because some of these pieces right here are this top edge and when we pull it out i'll show you more clearly i'll show you a picture i'll put it in there so if uh you look at your main gear and you're only going to see this top portion of it this portion is down with the motor uh, but if you find pieces like this, tooth pieces shattered off, and the top of it is sheared off, uh, you know it's the main gear, and uh, you need to go ahead and... So what I think it. happens is you get debris, or you get slides, or whatever, gets caught in here, it jams this, and then the plastic that they used... I mean, it's alright for these structural pieces, but little precise pieces like this, it's a very brittle plastic and it's prone to breaking and this one indeed just shattered so that little plastic bag that i showed you contains a replacement gear these are available on amazon and other places uh as a replacement very cheap i think it was eleven dollars uh free shipping and this is made out of a newer plastic this is like a delrin uh, which is a much softer, more flexible plastic and won't be prone to cracking. So this is what I'm going to replace that gear with. So we're going to go ahead and take this apart. You don't have to take it apart as much as you may think. And this is going to be easier than you think if your problem is a shattered gear. So let's get okay, to it. Okay, so first thing, uh, no matter what you're doing, uh, just ignore the fact that I've taken this panel off here. We'll go over that in a second. If your bulb is burned out and or you're going to repair this, say, more critical part because your gear is broken, you're going to want to take the bulb out first. So maybe you can see here, it says lock and unlock. So all you have to do is just slide this over, it snaps, and then just pull this out. And there's a retention cord right there. So you can just let it hang. Now, hopefully, you can see this bulb in here. We'll try to drop down here. And you can see that bulb inside the housing there. Let's see if we can get a clearer shot here. So, this just sits in here. And hopefully that's not too hot. Let it cool down for a while. I have it unplugged. You know, do not have this plugged in, so just do that. Now, there is a little bar here. Maybe you can see this little bar right here. What you're going to want to do is just simply push that up. And when you push that up, that slides that out. And then you can just go ahead and pull that bulb right out like that. 
So when you go to replace it, take your bulb, try not to touch here. You know, you may want to use a paper towel or something. Do not touch that. And you're going to have your two contacts up top. And there's two, two slots right there. And you're just going to want to slide this in. And that's going to uh, push that bar back into place. Just slide it in there. Once again, to get it out, just push that bar up and out it comes. So we're going to pull this bulb out. We're going to put it aside, safe place, because we're going to work on this. So the next step is if you do need to replace your gear, this gear and the motor housing is actually right up inside here. And I'm going to show you how to get to it. Okay. I forgot to mention earlier. <coughs> Excuse me, there's this uh, side cosmetic panel right here. Uh, if that's in the way, you can just pull it off and set it aside. Okay, so we removed the bulb out of here. And the next thing we want to do to get access to the motor and the main gear in there, if that's what's broken, is you want to take this panel off right here. Now, this may be a little tough. Let me show you here. If you find it difficult, to remove this there are actually two screws here you do not have to completely disassemble this projector if you find it a little difficult you can you can uh, loosen this screw here and this screw here but I'm not sure you're gonna need to all you really need to worry about is there's two bottom tabs there we are two bottom tabs one here and one here and then this tab on the top and it just simply goes in and snaps in. So what you want to do is maybe take a screwdriver or something. I just sat there and wiggled at it. So if you sit there and wiggle at it and finesse it, you can pop this off. Uh, if you have trouble with that, just let me know and uh, I'll go over that maybe a little more. So just take that panel, put it aside, and as you can see, you know, even if you've loosened these a little bit, once you expose that, you can see here's the motor right here and that gear just sits up right inside there now we've also left the access door to the uh, bulb assembly out of the way because what we're going to want to do is get uh, some tools in there so I'm going to get out the tools and I'm going to show you because basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull that motor out and the gear is going to be right on top of it. So I'm going to try to do enough close-ups here so you can see what I'm doing. Basically, it's just two bolts. And one of them is right here. And what we're going to do is take this. First thing, both of these bolts have like wire. You can see these wire retainers here. These are just pieces of wire that are bent over just to hold these. So you can actually take these and just move those out of the way. All they're doing is holding that in place. There's another one right down here. You can do the same thing. And once you do that, you can just slide this out of the way. So let me grab the, the tools that I'll, uh, I'll show you here real quick, some basic tools, and uh, we'll pull that out of there.